There's a new unique five acre event space in Far East Austin. The long time is home to the Texas Playboys Baseball Club who hosts Sandlot Baseball every second Saturdays with music, good vibes, and a little bit of giving back. Yeah. Musician Jack White loves some old school baseball. When he comes to Austin, you'll catch him playing ball out here. Mm -hmm. Dear Newbaum joins us live from the venue this morning with a look. Hey, Tara, good morning. Good morning. This is old school Austin at its finest, but it's really only been around for about five years, Jack, the long time. For somebody who's not been out here, what are they going to experience and what are you guys up to out here? Well, we started a baseball team 18 years ago and just realized there was a shortage of places for us to get on the field and do the style of baseball we wanted to, which is mainly make it family fun, fun on this side of the backstop as well, and also really be able to offer food and drinks and, and play live music and all that stuff. So we just sort of decided to build our own ball field. That's what we did five years ago. Well, how about that? And it's quite the vibe out here. You can see in the photos that we're seeing on the screen throughout the morning that it's just a family friendly vibe. It's good times, good vibes only. And uh, Northcutt, you're one of the Texas Playboys. What's it like to be part of this team? Uh, it's incredible. That's uh, probably one of the bigger honors I've ever had, just to be affiliated and be a part of a community and, and a Sandlot baseball club of, of guys and gals of the caliber that are the Playboys. I mean, it's creatives and chefs and filmmakers and just really fun folks that, that get it at their heart and uh, like to come out here and play a little baseball, sometimes better than others. <laughs> but we always have fun and we always raise money and, and try to be a part of the community and, and continue to build community and help folks out that, that need it. Yeah, that, that's a big part of what you guys are doing is giving back to our community. But what's it like out here on game day? You guys have a game on Saturday. It's electric. Yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah. the it's the closest I'll ever be to, to being a rock star. I mean, there's we've got the uh, you know Amy Cook and Alex Moss and Ben Quellers of, of the world that are on the team, and they get to actually go be a rock star. But when you're out here playing, you know, folks are out here to see the Playboys and see the visiting team and and see what that's all about. But it's also not just about baseball. It's it's the arts, the pop-up shows, it's the music, it's the food, it's the bar. You know, it's it's just out here having a good time. So it's certainly not about the Playboys, uh, but it feels good to be one. Yeah, I was talking to someone in the community yesterday, and they said, I've got, already got the date on my calendar for Saturday. I've been looking forward to this, waiting for the game. They just want to be out here. They want to be in this energy. I know you guys need to warm up, so we'll let you head on to the field. We've got Adam joining us from Good Work Austin. And as we mentioned, the Texas Playboys giving back to charity. Um, this is a big goal. They want to get back $100,000 throughout the season. Um, you guys have been part of this for, for two years. How have these funds helped Good Work Austin? And for somebody not familiar with what you guys are up to, can you tell us about that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I was one of the founders of Good Work Austin. I'm a, a business owner, a restaurant owner as well um, of Locadoro, and then a number of other business, restaurants and bars helped found Good Work Austin to um, really envision a healthy Austin that was uplifted and uh, connected by by the bar and restaurant community. We provide free trainings, harassment prevention, DEI trainings, de-escalation trainings. Um, we, uh, uh, we pay restaurants to provide meals in crisis, like during the winter storm, and, uh, and for other uh, city and county homeless shelters. And, um, and then we also are about to start a workforce training program in conjunction with a number of other nonprofits around town to help uplift folks and, and get them ready to be at good paying jobs in the culinary community. So um, we've got a lot going on, and the Playboys have been amazing. It's, uh, it's such a fun fundraiser to come out here and be a part of the carnival and um, get to auction off, uh, auction off a lot of items from all our bars and restaurants, listen to the music, there are kids and dogs running around, and there's uh, a couple of baseball games. It's, it's a perfect day. Absolutely is. You love a perfect day, a fun day, and a day that gives back to our local charities. That was Adam of Good Work Austin. This is the Texas Playboys. Just a couple of the guys out here this morning because they're out doing their jobs. It's just a... a variety of, of local Austinites that make up this team. And uh, you love fun and you love giving back, guys. All right. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks, Tara.